back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I'm going to be adding temperature sensors to my DIY BMS, my version 4. I was noticing uh, my enclosures outside and noticing some of the temperatures getting pretty warm on the boards. So I figured I better start monitoring the cell temperatures. So what I got to thinking about was I probably had some thermistors uh, left over from when I built these, so I said why not just use that and some wire and add them to the board. So what I want to do is I want to show you the steps I did to um, attach the uh, thermistors to the board and what it looks like uh, after you get it set up. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some thin, uh, I used enamel wire just because it's a little more pliable and I would be able to stick it down in between the batteries and you just want to cut off enough that you can get um, into the batteries and so here you know I've, you've got several thermistors and of course these are 805s so they're very tiny they're hard to work with but what you want to do is take the enamel wire and take the tip and take like an exacto knife or something and scrape that enamel off that way you'll get a good connection to it and the solder will stick and then you just want to tin up the tip of the wire and just want to get a, a dab on there. If you had a heat gun, it would probably be better because you could just lay the heat gun um, just on top. But as you can see, the needle, the tip of the soldering iron is about the size of the, the thermistor itself. And it's very hard to do. Oops. And now I lost it. So <laughs> let me find it and stick it back up here. Okay, let's try this again here. So I'm going to get a little more solder on my tip because I'm not sure if I had enough before. And it didn't quite want to stick. So let me get some more on here and see if that will help. If you don't get that enamel off, it really makes the solder won't stick. So you want to make sure you get it off so you get a good amount on there. Now then let's go down here and we'll see if we can get it attached. And it just takes a dab. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put one and I'm going to try to keep it uh, almost in a off to the side like this. That way the other one will attach and it'll be just a good square fit. So now I'm going to get the other one here and scrape the ends off the, uh, the wire. And uh, then I'll get it tinned up with the solder. You just want to go around and make sure you get all sides and get the, I like using the green. Um, if you use the clear, you can't really tell when the enamel's off. So this really helps. So let's get it, lay it down here. All right, let's get some solder on the tip of this new one here. And And we'll stick it on. You don't want to heat it up too much. I'm using about 250 degrees Celsius on the iron. And of course, I need my helping hands. It would make things easier. Uh, but anyway, it's tiny. Be patient and have a good work surface. Not one like I'm using here. Everything keeps moving on me. And there we go. Got it connected. So now that it's connected, um, you can kind of see here, it's kind of, it's very small. Uh, I'll try to get a close-up picture of it here and post it. Um, but what you want to do is once you get this done, I would recommend putting some silicon or I'm going to use, um, I have some Plasti Dip that you dip uh, handles of like screwdrivers and stuff in. And I will um, dip it in that just to keep anything from shorting it and not touching the, the wires. So I'm going to um, now take it and solder it onto the board. So what you're wanting to do is you want to put it in the first sensor, the one that's got a square on the end, and then the next one to it which just has a round end. 
and I didn't show it here, but I did scrape the ends off. Make sure you get the enamel off, and it just takes a dab of solder, and that is it as far as attaching it to the board. Now I will go out there and hook it up, and I'll come in back in and show you what it looks like on the um, on the actual BMS. But uh, here's a little close up. You can see which pins it's in. So it says sensor one and a square, and then the first pin. And that is uh, all there is as far as soldering it up. Now let's go hook it up to the uh, the board outside and see how it works. Okay, now that we got it plugged in, let's see how it looks on the system. And there's no coding changes you need to make. You've got everything um, in your uh, wired up correctly. Uh, it will report just as the uh, right beside the other board temperature. Uh, as you can see here, we're reading 21 degrees, which uh, is the same because I don't have it in the batteries yet. But uh, now I just need to do it to the other three boards, and then I'll have it on all four. Uh, another thing to note is if you do use a different value thermistor, you might have to go in and tweak the settings uh, to get the values to correct, um, to read correctly. That's the nice thing about using the existing or whatever you have left over from when you built the boards because they're the same values, so it will read the, the same. So it should, uh, should just be a plug and play. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this quick video. Uh, like I said, it was a quick little project on our, since we're in quarantine and figure it's something to spend some time on to do a little upgrade. But uh, if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to um, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And I appreciate it. And you have a good day. Thanks.